Okay, guys, before we get into the real tea, let's just get some background on Arrogant Tay and Jonathan Wright. Here we have two young stylists that are killing the game. They both do some bomb hairstyles. So why can't they get along? Let's run that thing back. So last week, Jonathan got on Instagram and posted the videos of him doing Jeffree Star's hair. And if you're in the makeup community or you just like the tea, you know that Jeffree Star has a really bad reputation with the black community with racial comments and just a scammer and all of these things. But this is not about him. Jonathan got a 20k back off of this and a lot of people felt some type of way about it. So I want you to comment down below if someone offered you $20,000 to do your services for them, would you do it? He didn't have to build a relationship with this dude. He did a service. So social media was up in arms and I mean, I kind of side-eyed it at first until I realized how much money he made, but I wasn't the only one. Stylist Arrogant Tay has some things to get off his chest. Let's see what he had to say. I'm assuming people were tagging him and he said, that ish ain't got nothing to do with me, so y'all lame, stop being messy AF. So then he says, one thing about me is I don't sit up and worry about other people. I'm on my own lane in my own bag. Then he says, I'm a grown A man with my own MFM bag. I don't worry or give AF about nobody or what they doing. He then says, all money ain't good money. Remember that. So it kind of seems like he may be pressed, but I don't know. You comment down below and let me know. He then says, I will never in my life be worried about a grown man type of issues that. Y'all miss me with all that lame ass goofy ish. Stand by what I said and I've been saying I was taught it so I don't give a F for what any of y'all got to say. I'm in my own lane. I don't sit up and worry about people or what they doing. So y'all get the F off my page with all that messy A ish. Again, he's being very repetitive so it seems like something is bothering him and you know, I'm trying to remain objective because this is not my business. I just want to report it. Jonathan responds, listen here, one thing about Jonathan is I am a real life go-getter. I'm out here hustling and growing and I came from none. So I'd be dang if I pass up $20,000 to feed my family because motherfuckers feel they too good. So, you know, Jonathan is from Dallas and that's where I'm from. So Texas stand up and that hustling spirit is real. But yeah, I'm about to go on and touch bases. Y'all already know. People be saying, don't say nothing, don't speak because you bit, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm going to speak on it. People are, I mean, so why is people saying, pass up some money, pass up some money because somebody else don't like somebody? Bitch, if Jonathan pass up some motherfucking money because somebody else don't like somebody, I'm a dumbass motherfucker to pass up $20,000. Bitch, y'all can sit y'all ass at home and look on Instagram and stereotype what somebody else got. That's racist. That'll be racist for me to not do this person her. Yeah, so I'm out here getting my money. Everybody else, people like to sit up, you know, not do her, not, you know, like, hey. Now, hey now. I'm going to secure the bag at all times. I don't care what nobody got to say. Cause ain't nobody paying my bills. When it's rent time, and when it's you know, when you when your mama or somebody call you and ask you for some money, and you ain't got it to give, then you gonna remember you gonna wish you took that twenty thousand dollar client. And that's what I'm here for. See, look, I'm not one of them. The problem is with people; these hairstylists be messy as hell. These hairstylists be wanting to be around people and you know gossip. I'm not one of them. I'm not none of that. Like, I'm going to be around here. I'm going to do my job, and I'm out of here. I'm not here gossiping about what your previous hairstylist did wrong. None of that. Because I'm here to do what I came to do. And that's that. All that goo goo gaga shit, no. I'm friends, you know, friends and everything with everybody. But as far as drama, never did it. I'm a business-oriented type of person. No matter how 
ghetto I am. I'm a business oriented type person. I always ran my business right. Other motherfuckers don't know how to run a real business. They want to um, listen to what other people got to say. Motherfucker, if Trump hit me up today and say, look, Jonathan, I'm going to pay you $20,000. I'm going to be going over there to put that toupee on Trump. Hey, y'all better stop playing. Yeah, and be in the White House. I'm going to experience everything. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to experience it for myself. Because obviously everybody got something to say. So let's just jump to today in the drama that has occurred. So Eric and Tay took to social media again this morning and he was in his feelings because Jonathan Wright did Nicki Minaj's hair. And Eric and Tay is known for doing Nicki Minaj's hair. So he felt like he was betrayed. Let's hear what Miss Minaj had to say, and then we will jump back into Jonathan's response. For the last few months, I told my hairstylist that when the song comes out, I wanna redo the look that I'm saying in the song. And he said, okay, many, many times. And I've always been reminding him when we thought the song was gonna come out and stuff like that. And then he he canceled on me 48 hours before the shoot. People had his people and I said, well, can you overnight the wig then? And you know, we could have someone just apply it and you know, keep it smooth like that. And he said, no. And so with 24 hours left, because today the song came out and I was always gonna put the video out the same day the song came out. With 24 hours left, Shell, we had to, um, I had to call somebody and thank God someone came to do it because it was really important for me because we don't have a video with the song and the song and, the, and this little Instagram video is promotional for the song. Um, so I feel, I think that, you know, what's been happening, and this is why you got to be so careful. Like, sometimes you spoil people. When when you cancel on someone all the time and they always just not do what they're supposed to do because of it, you start thinking that that's how things are supposed to go. But, um, no. You know. If you pay attention to the audio you can see that Nikki repeats herself saying that or emphasizing that he has canceled on her more than once you know i have to work so if i have 24 hours left to get my hair done should i have not been able to post a promotional video for my song coming out like what you guys please have a blessed and happy day Oh, but wait, she is not done. I can't, I can't stop, I can't stop the, the shoots anymore because I've been doing that for such a long time. I, I'm always getting canceled on, always, always. So I don't want to have to pull up my text messages because it's so, it's so tacky and childish, but I never ever speak up about anything. And, um, you know, sometimes you just got to speak because people will just bash you and say the most crazy. You say no, but then you literally want them to not promote their song. So after Nikki posted that, Eric and Tay got on Instagram and said, I did not cancel. I had to get my wisdom teeth pulled today, July 30th, which I made my appointment two weeks because I... Ben was supposed to get it pulled for months now. And I told her, I'm going to see if I can reschedule my appointment. And I couldn't because the next day they had it available wasn't till middle August. So her team asked, could I overnight a wig? Nikki doesn't like wearing no other wigs from no other companies except for one company that barely communicate with me. So I can't make a wig and that I know she's not going to like because she's 
doesn't like other wigs and I wasn't trying to get cursed out for bringing wigs that she feels don't fit her head like the one she's used to. Mind you, I didn't get any details on wig of how she wants it or nothing because she didn't text me like she always does. Her team reached my manager and my manager told me about I've been working, but I've been working for her for so long that I know Nikki and what she likes and don't like. But whatever, it's not okay and it's not cool. But it is what it is. I've done my part by being there for her and being loyal and never going against her and always supporting her. But the shade, man, is not what I'm with. Baby, I almost had a stroke reading that. No shade. Under that post, he said, I never said no, but I know how she is with the wig she liked. The company she uses have not been texting me back when I asked them to send me three blonde wigs that I can color and have on hand for her, but I got no response. But if I would have got a wig from elsewhere, I would have got cursed. It because she knows the difference. I really wanted to be there because I always try and make sure that I'm there for her, but I had to handle my business and get my tooth pulled because I've been holding it off way before Corona. And I couldn't because of Corona. And now that businesses are back open, I went and got it over with. And it's not about being spoiled, but you don't go against me with people who sit and shade me and feel a way about me. Whatever, it's life. Arrogant Tay then said, I never switched up, but they switch up. I've learned my lesson being loyal to people and real and sticking by people's side don't get you no more. But hey, it's life. You can't trust people. People are petty. But I'm done dealing with people who's not loyal. But she, let's turn all the way up then. I'm not breaking my back and being loyal to no more people. 100. Bad intentions. Industry a dirty, dirty game. And I don't want no parts of this bullish. It's always the people who you break your back for that always try and be shady and turn on you. It's a thrill for them. After you respected them for so long, go hard for them. Missing important is just to be there for people who deep down inside don't give a F about me. It's so effed up how I've turned so many people out i've turned down so many people out having so much respect and just being solid this industry a dirty a game and i'm so cool on it baby commas and punctuation is so important one thing i hate is having love for people who always turn their back on me that's my biggest problem when i love people and it's genuine i go above and beyond but i'm tired of playing Tired of people playing with me on God. And I hate that I even have to speak on this lame ABS. But it's so cool. Can nothing and nobody ever take me off my throne. I'm going to keep winning and that's on God. Next people I work with, I'm keeping that is strictly business. Don't try and build no friendships or bonds. Because I'm not doing none of that ish no more. Turned down so many people and so many opportunities from just being loyal and solid. Never again, 100. I really hate that about myself is how loyal I am to people and they intentions never be good. I will never in my life, all you bees and them celebrities do not come DMing me with effed up intentions or try and use me to get back to people. I'm tired of shady ass lame ass ish if you cause give me the same everybody in solid and loyalty stay the f away from me this is why i stay away from people and protect my peace and energy because mfs are evil af i am going to attribute that he was so frustrated when he was writing this he then says people know what they be doing so do you think that Nikki did this on purpose or did she just need her to get her hair done like she said? 
A lot of y'all can say so much and talk so much ish, but y'all don't know nothing at all. Y'all sit and assume ish all day by the internet will love to make you look bad. Jonathan put up this cryptic message, stop venting and start praying. You don't need sympathy, you need strength. And then he also put, I show people how to run a business, how to continue to strive for greatness, not sit on your A all or act like life's so good or some no. The grind don't stop and it only gets better. Eric and Tay had one last message. Y'all can say what y'all want. I love her and her music, but wrong is wrong. Go stream now. Still my favorite rapper. So again, comment down below who is wrong, who is right, what do y'all think? And I'll be in the comments as well giving my opinion. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all cousins.